modules, tools we need, heat gun, adjust the temperature to about 300 to 330 degrees, soldering iron, power supply, receiving hard, solder paste, IC, new lamp, tweezers, electric screwdriver, Problem number one. In this situation, the light here is generally short-circuited. First, remove the mask and find the broken lamp. Then, use a heat gun to blow out the broken lamp. If the blowing lamp shows normal, it means that there is a short circuit, so remove the lamp. Last, use a new lamp, paste it with a solder paste and put it back with its original position. And repair completed. Put the mask back in place and fix it with a screwdriver. Problem number two. In this situation, there is usually a problem with the IC. If you want to know which IC has a problem, you have to look here. RGB means red, green, and blue. These three ICs are a group, and these here are also a group, and so on. Take a look of the first group IC, which corresponds to the color of the front light. Let's go on to see the second group. If you don't know which IC has the problem, we have to use tweezers to clamp the corresponding resistor and let it form a short circuit. We can see that the red is on, indicating that color red is good. Then clamp the second resistor. The blue light is on, indicating that the blue color is also good. Use tweezers to clamp the last resistor. If the green is not on, it can be determined that there is a problem with this IC. Next, let's take a closer look at the resistor symbol. C stands for capacitors and GR stands for resistors. Be sure to use tweezers to clamp the resistor, not the capacitor, otherwise it will burn out. At this time, you need to use a soldering iron to control the temperature at 300 to 330 degrees. We use 320 degrees as an example here. First, use a soldering iron and add tin on both sides of the IC and melt it. Heat both sides of the IC at the same time and remove the IC. After that, clean up excess solder paste. Second, take out the new IC and add a little solder paste to the bottom. Find a notch. Take a look at the board and find the point here and put it in the right position. Then add tin on both sides and melt it well.
clean up the excess tin. And if it is not clean, add a little solder paste to let it fully dissolve and then clean it up. There should be no tin left on both sides of the lamp pin. Finally, use a little alcohol on the cloth and wipe its surrounding area. Wait for the alcohol to evaporate and do a final check to make sure there is no tin left around. So, repair completed.